What if I told you that losing a tooth might no longer be a permanent event? That instead of facing expensive implants, uncomfortable dentures, or damaging bridges, you could simply grow a new natural tooth. It sounds like something from a science fiction movie, right? Well, it's happening right now in Japan, and today, we're diving deep into the groundbreaking human trials that could not just change dentistry, but revolutionize what we believe is possible for the human body. This is not a theory. This is about a real drug, real scientists, and the world's first human trials for a treatment that can make your body grow brand new teeth. By the end of this in-depth report, you'll understand exactly how this works, the incredible science behind it, what it means for the future of dental care, and when you might be able to get this treatment yourself. The problem, why this is a global revolution before we get to the miracle, let's understand the problem this research is trying to solve. Tooth loss is a silent global epidemic. The World Health Organization estimates that billions of people are affected. In the United States alone, the average adult between 50 and 64 is missing approximately seven teeth. And by the time we reach 65, nearly 30% of adults have lost all of their natural teeth. This isn't just a cosmetic issue. It impacts our ability to eat nutritious food, to speak clearly, and it can have a devastating effect on our confidence and quality of life. Currently, if you lose a tooth, your options are limited and deeply flawed. Dental implants are the gold standard, but they are incredibly expensive, often costing between $3,000 to $5,000 for a single tooth in the United States. The process involves invasive surgery and months of healing time. The next option, a dental bridge, requires the aggressive and irreversible grinding down of two perfectly healthy adjacent teeth to act as anchors for the fake tooth. And finally, dentures, as anyone who has had them knows, come with their own set of challenges, from discomfort to difficulty eating. For decades, we've accepted these as our only choices. But what if the best solution wasn't something a dentist puts in your mouth, but something your own body creates? The hidden potential, your body's third set of teeth. Here is the revolutionary scientific truth that makes this all possible. Humans, like many mammals, actually have the genetic blueprint to grow three sets of teeth, not just two. We get our baby teeth, then our adult teeth, and then, for most of us, nothing. But that third set, the potential for it, is still there, locked away in our DNA, just waiting for the right signal to be activated. Sharks can grow thousands of teeth in their lifetime. Alligators can replace each of their 80 teeth up to 50 times. So, why can't we? Japanese scientists believe they have finally found the key to unlock that hidden potential. Leading this groundbreaking research is Dr. Katsu Takahashi, a renowned researcher working out of the Medical Research Institute at Kitano Hospital in Osaka, Japan, in collaboration with Kyoto University. It is critical to understand that this is not some fringe startup. These are world-renowned institutions with decades of experience in regenerative medicine and dental research. Dr. Takahashi has been studying the intricate genetics of tooth development for over 15 years, and his team has been laser-focused on this specific tooth regeneration project since the early 2010s. Their journey has been long and methodical, starting with basic genetic research, moving to computer modeling, then successful animal studies, and now, finally, the world's first human trials. This systematic, cautious approach is what gives us confidence that they are on the cusp of something truly revolutionary and safe. The science, how a single protein stops your teeth from growing. Now, let's get into the fascinating science behind this breakthrough, and I'll explain it in a simple way. The key to this entire discovery is a single protein in your body called USAG1. Think of USAG1 as a biological stop sign, or a brake pedal, for tooth development. In a developing embryo, there is a complex dance of signals that tell teeth when to grow and when to stop. After our adult teeth are fully formed, the USAG1 protein essentially tells our mouth, that's enough teeth. The job is done, stop making more, but here's the incredible part. Even as adults, we still have dormant tooth buds in our jawbones. These are like sleeping seeds, tiny clusters of stem cells that have the full potential to grow into complete, new teeth but the USAG1 protein is the signal that keeps them dormant. It's like having a beautiful garden full of fertile seeds that never sprout because a constant signal is telling them that it's still winter. So, what does this new drug do? It is an antibody that is specifically designed to target and block only the USAG1 protein. It's a molecular smart bomb that hunts down and neutralizes the stop sign. The technical term for the drug is an anti-USAG1 monoclonal antibody. 
Monoclonal antibodies are one of the most precise tools in modern medicine. When you administer this drug, it removes the brake pedal. The dormant tooth buds in your jaw receive the message that the stop signal is gone, and they wake up and begin the natural process of developing into actual, fully formed teeth. The researchers describe it as allowing the natural growth of a third generation of teeth, beyond baby teeth and adult teeth. What's so beautiful about this approach is that it is not introducing anything artificial. The drug simply removes a natural break, allowing your body's own existing systems and your own stem cells to do what they already know how to do. The proof, from animal success to human trials. Before ever attempting this in humans, Dr. Takahashi's team conducted extensive animal studies, and the results were nothing short of remarkable. In studies on mice, a single injection of the anti-USAG-1 drug was enough to trigger the growth of brand new, fully functional teeth. These animal studies were crucial for two reasons. First, they proved that the concept actually worked. Second, they were essential for establishing a safety profile. The researchers monitored the animals long-term and found no adverse effects from the treatment. The new teeth grew incorrectly, they didn't interfere with the existing teeth, and there were no signs of toxicity or abnormal growth elsewhere in the body. This incredible success paved the way for the current, world-first human trials, which began in September 2024 and are ongoing. The first phase of this trial is focused on safety and efficacy in a group of 30 healthy adult men who are missing at least one molar. As of early 2025, while detailed results have not yet been published, the fact that the trial is proceeding as planned is a very positive sign, suggesting that no major safety issues have emerged. The next planned trials are even more exciting. They will focus on children between the ages of 2 and 7 who have a condition called congenital anodonta, where they are born missing one or more of their permanent teeth. This affects about 5% of the population and can have a devastating impact on a child's development and self-confidence. The future, what this means for you and your family. So, when might this revolutionary treatment be available to the general public? Based on the current timeline of the clinical trials, the researchers are projecting that the drug could be commercially available for congenital conditions around the year 2030. Following that, they will likely expand the trials to the broader adult population. The implications are staggering. Beyond just replacing a single lost tooth, this treatment could revolutionize care for cancer patients who have lost teeth due to radiation or chemotherapy. It could offer a natural solution for people who have suffered severe dental trauma from accidents. And for the elderly population, who often face the loss of multiple teeth, this could mean the end of uncomfortable dentures and the return to the comfort and function of their own natural teeth. The psychological and social impact could be enormous. Tooth loss affects self-confidence, social interactions, and even career prospects. Being able to restore natural teeth could have a profound effect on the overall quality of life for millions of people. We are standing on the precipice of a new era in regenerative medicine. The idea that our own bodies hold the key to regrowing lost teeth is no longer science fiction. It is a scientific reality being proven in a hospital in Japan right now. The end of dental implants as we know them may be closer than we think. The future of dentistry is not just about replacing what's lost, but about regenerating it. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of one of the most exciting medical breakthroughs of our time. If you found this information as incredible as I do, please hit that like button, subscribe for more updates on the future of health, and share this video with someone who needs to hear this message of hope.